Hey everybody, Fetty here. I wanted to talk to you today about one of my favorite tools in my toolbox. We all love those kinds of tools that let you tear things up and rip things apart and put things together. And all of us guys that's in our DNA, we just like to cut stuff, you know. But what I really like to do is put that finishing touch on something I've been working on and make it look pretty. I don't know, maybe it's the chick in me, but I just like to make my projects look nice and make them look pretty. And that's what this system here allows me to do. What this is, is a self-contained HVLP spray system. Uh, this one's made by Fuji Spray. And this is the Mini Mike 4. And it's a HVLP, high volume, low pressure. You know, I've been around spray painting all my life, everything from a crackle can to you know, Daddy always had an old car he was wrenching on or painting on, and some of my earliest memories are shooting candy apple red lacquer on an old Camaro being pushed by a homemade air compressor. <laughs> so what I can tell you is the technology and spray systems has come a long way in the decades since then. And what this does, this unit here, this turbine, generates about eight and a half pounds per square inch of, of force, of pressure, runs it through the tube here, the hose, and the engineering of these spray guns allows, you know, they're able to take that little bit of pressure and throw out a whole lot of paint, throw it out accurately, and throw it out consistently. And consistency is one of the most important aspects of, you know, painting or finishing. You gotta know, that you're going to get the same result today as you did yesterday and will tomorrow. So it's, it's really consistent and I've gotten perfect finishes every time. If you've watched any of my videos, you've seen me use this equipment a lot and uh, I get great results from it. So what I wanted to talk a little bit about today is just all the different components that, that go into this, how they work, how you take it apart and maybe some of the results you can expect to get if you, if you decide to get one or if you already have one. So let's get started. So everything starts right here with this turbine. This is a Mini Mite 4 uh, and it's a four stage turbine. I don't really know what that means. Fuji Spray makes some three stage turbines. This one's a four. I guess it just means it has more gearing or something, I don't know. But this is, this is where everything starts. And this turbine here generates the air that's you know, pushing out to your spray guns. Um, it's kind of like a vacuum cleaner, if you think about it. If you had a vacuum cleaner and reverse the polarity on it, instead of sucking air in, this thing's blowing air out. And that's all there is to it. There's not a lot of maintenance involved with this turbine. Uh, there's a couple of filters on the side right here. And you just, from time to time, pull these filters out, wash them out a little bit, and stick them back in. Other than that, all you're doing is just plugging it in and turning it on. Now, on the front here, it's kind of your outlet for your, your air. And your hose, right here, it looks like just a hose fitting, like, like you'd put on your spigot at your house. It just goes on the front, and screws down. You just kind of, you don't have to have a wrench or nothing, just get it tight with your hand and that's fine. So that's all there is to that part. Now when you, when I ordered this system, it came with the turbine, the hose, and I ordered mine with a, with a gravity cup spray gun. Um, I don't know how many ounces that is, it's a little bit a little bit less than a pine, I guess. And that's that's what you get. You know, you get a cleaning kit and a viscosity cup and a couple things like that, but that's essentially what comes when you order. Uh, I liked it so much that in time, I bought another spray gun. And the reason I did that is now what I do is I only spray paints out of this one and I only spray polys and stains out of this one. And I'll talk about it in a minute, but I've got each one of them set up with the proper needle for, for that application. You don't have to do that. I mean, I got along with this one just fine for a really long time, but having two kind of saves me 
kind of break down and switch over and set up and lets me just kind of keep the workflow going. So a lot of people ask me, is this thing loud? Well, yeah, it's loud. I mean, it's a friggin' vacuum cleaner turned around backwards. It makes some noise and it's pretty annoying, but it's not any louder than your table saw or your miter saw. They make noise too. Now, Fuji makes some, uh, some products, some of their turbines that have some noise reduction technology built into it. And the way I feel about that is you're just paying a lot of money to make it just a little bit quieter. So who cares? It makes some noise, big deal. Um, so once this thing generates the, the air, and like I said, it's only about eight and a half pounds, comes through your hose and that's where it goes into your spray gun. It has a little, like you pull down on that unit and it just locks in. So let me turn it on and you can hear how loud it is. So yeah, it's kind of loud. It makes a little bit of noise, but I'm standing right in front of it with this mic on. So, you know, sitting right here, right beside it, it's pretty loud, but I don't feel like I need ear protection or anything, but you got to remember when you're painting something, this thing's going to be sitting here and you'll be painting it, you know, 20 feet away. I don't know exactly how long that hose is. It's 15 or 20 feet. So, so that's kind of how this unit works together. Uh, let me move this out of the way and I'm going to talk to you about the spray guns. A lot of the beauty in this spray gun is its simplicity. There's not a whole lot of adjustments you have to make. There's basically two adjustments on the back. There's a knob that you turn which will control your flow of your, your material, your paint or poly or whatever. And then on the front, there's a knob that controls the fan, how wide of a spray you'll have. Now this, this flow control, if you back it out counterclockwise, that sends more material out the nozzle. If you turn it clockwise, it constricts down the flow. On the fan, if you turn the knob, you know, you're painting this way, if you turn the knob toward you, it opens the fan up a lot. If you push it forward, it squeezes down the fan. What I like to set mine at is about a third. I pull it back and open it up about a third. And that gives me a, a good fan combined with the amount of material that's coming out for me to paint the way I like to. Of course, painting, it's all about technique. It depends on how far back you're holding your gun from your material. Uh, depends on the speed that you're moving and you have to be consistent. So, so painting is really about technique and practice and I recommend anybody getting started in this, just shoot paint. Just shoot a lot of paint. This gun will tell you if you're doing something wrong. Uh, you'll know it right away. So that's, that's the beauty of this. It's not very complicated in having to make a lot of different adjustments on the spray gun. Now, the cup, it's a gravity fed cup and there's really nothing to it. It has a lid, but really important, inside of the, the lip of that lid right here is a little rubber washer and you gotta get that in there the right way because that makes a seal on this cup. And if you don't have it in there the right way or you don't have a good seal, what will happen is you'll start losing pressure in your cup. It will affect your spray coming out. But worse than that, it will start pushing material, your paint or your poly or whatever, will start dripping down your cup. And you won't know it until you're going along wondering what's wrong and you blob a big gob of poly on your surface and then life changes forever. So, you know, just make sure you have, have your washer on the inside of the cup properly. Now, the way this works, you have your air coming in right here and it does its magic inside this spray gun and it sends air through this hose here 
into your cup and it pressurizes that cup. Now on this hose is a check valve and it only lets movement go in one direction. And I think the reason is so if you accidentally turned your cup upside down and you get paint coming down through here, it'll stop it and protect the inside of your spray gun. It'll ruin that check valve, uh, but it'll protect the inside of your paint gun. So taking this thing apart is really easy and cleaning it. Now, if you're painting a lot, if you're painting today and you know you're gonna to paint tomorrow, it's perfectly acceptable to rinse your cup out several times with some warm water and then, then fill it up, hook it up and spray water, you know, just hold it down and spray for a minute or two and clear out, you know, all the paint and clean it out that way. It's okay to do that, but don't, don't do that if you're gonna put this thing away for the winter. In fact, I clean mine, I break it down every single time. It doesn't take that long and it's pretty easy to do and you know it's clean. 